my name is Felix Chen. I'm from Mauister. And first of all, we are an advertising network, so uh, that's why we talk about 100 million in stores. Uh, if we are a developer, we may talk about several million. So, um, so before we start, uh, I would like to uh, share some basic information uh, of Mauister. Uh, we our headquarter is in China. We are founded in 2013, and now we have five global offices, and uh, we have 300 over 300 employees. Over 60 percent of them are R and D, and I will tell why we have 60 percent of R and D, uh, and later. And then uh, we got Run A financing last year, and uh, a couple months ago we got uh, Run B financing. And actually, la at the end of last month, uh, we have uh, took further step to the in the capital market. And uh, I will discuss this uh, later by the end of the presentation. So, uh, like uh, two months ago, when I uh, discussed with James uh, what kind of topic should we uh, discuss uh, in the, this event. Uh, he just uh, asked me to uh, bring uh, one very typical case about uh, this uh, app promotion. So uh, actually, we have uh, a lot of uh, similar cases like this. And uh, what we do, because uh, this is our job, we had, we've been doing this uh, every day. And uh, so I took this one. This is uh, quite an interesting case. It's a utility app, uh, which is called uh, Leo Privacy Guard. And uh, James uh, asked me to share some uh, like secret ingredients, how we can promote this app uh, within six months to 100 million in store. So uh, I just responded to him. Well, there are no secret ingredients, just basic skills. But uh, to have uh, have basic idea is one thing. To implement the basic ideas to the extreme is totally different story. So um, uh, I will talk about this uh, in the upcoming slides. Uh, so this uh, Leo Privacy Guard is uh, was developed by a Chinese um, uh, company called Leo Master. They also have uh, several other uh, couple of different uh, portfolio of products. So this is their flagship product, uh, Leo Privacy Guard. Uh, like a lot of any other products. What they do is uh, to protect the users from this illegal intrusion to the phone. So uh, as you may know, there are a lot of similar products in the market. So how can they compete the other product and grab a very big share of the cake? So uh, here are some basic figures. Uh, this is the figure in, the let's say, the last six months, uh, which accounted for 100 million in stores. Things uh, actually didn't, went, didn't go very well before May, because uh, before that, uh, in, in the last six months before May, they uh, uh, got, got around like uh, uh, 20 million something. It's quite fast, but not fast en enough. But uh, as their goal partner, Movistar helped them to speed up the process and bring them finally 100 million in stores in uh, 20 different geos. You can see that as we start from the Asian market, obviously we have uh, quite a huge uh, quantities of in stores from India, Indonesia, and we are very good uh, in uh, Russian and uh, Russia and also uh, the Latin. And uh, you may see that on the top of the curve, uh, there is uh, the others. This include uh, uh, Europe, uh, Middle East, Africa, and uh, the rest of the world apart from these geos. In fact, we have been promoting this app uh, in around 15 geos. The interesting thing is a lot of people, when they look at the figure, like 100 million in stores, the, the first thought came into their mind is that, okay, you must be promoting these things in China. Because China has a high penetration of smartphone, and then we have like a 1.5 billion population subscriber base, so it's quite easy to do that. But the fact is, we do not. This figure doesn't include the Chinese uh, users. So there are three basic questions to ask. Just uh, like I mentioned, it's all about basics. So. Uh, how to do that, how to achieve 100 million in stores. Because uh, this morning I've uh, been hearing a lot about uh, how to uh, promote an app to uh, like several millions of, of users uh, without paying any money. 
and uh, how to you know occupy a local market quickly uh, just uh, by using some organic organic growth uh, I would say yeah when we talk about just several million yeah it's a really a good strategy to do that but when we talk about like 100 million such huge quantity if you want to do it in a very short time you need some professional service so these are three basic questions what's the prerequisite uh, to bring 100 million in stores is about the scale of the traffic and the second question, how to achieve the goal in such a short time is about time to market targeting and optimization. And the last one is about the user quantity, uh, quality, user quality. So, uh, these 100 million users, uh, I can tell you the quality is like 10 million daily active users at the moment. Uh, so all these uh, three questions come down to three basic points. I'll discuss them, uh, discuss them one by one. So, uh, first of all, you need to have a huge quantity of impressions. Because when we're talking about in-store, you, if you consider like the conversion rate, 1% conversion rate and 1% click-through rate, which means that your impression need to be 10, 000, uh, at least 10,000 times or even 100,000 times higher than your in-store. So the base, the foundation to get such big, such big impression is that you need to have huge traffic. So this is the traffic distribution of Movistar worldwide. We have global traffic, which I introduce my, when I introduce myself to my new clients, I always say that we have global traffic and we are, you know, we specialize in this Asian market and Europe and all the other markets, including US and also Latin. And second thing is uh, regarding this targeting and optimization. When you have huge traffic, the second thing to do is to how to, you know, to uh, play with your traffic. So at the very beginning, we have a problem to acquire users because we choose use a single solution, use a single source of traffic. So uh, there are some pros of coins. You can focus all your energy on that, uh, but on the other hand, you may, uh, you know, lose the time to market. For example, uh, if we we have a big team there, some of them you uh, do this uh, manual uh, media buying, some of them doing this, uh, you know, programmatic buying, uh, whatever. And we also have our own direct traffic. Uh, we have a lot of uh, you know developers integrated with uh, the SDK. And they have uh, also huge traffic, which I will discuss later. And uh, so here I want to emphasize the uh, pros, uh, uh, pros and cons of this uh, manual ad and programmatic ad. Like this, um, this manual ad, uh, the problem of the manual ad, the, actually the advantage of manual ad is uh, it can quickly, uh, you know, kickstart the market. You can get into the market quickly and expose yourself. But the problem is uh, as your volume grows higher and higher, it's not that sustainable. And if we comp and compare with the manual ad, the programmatic ad has a big advantage of it. It can create a huge volumes of traffic. It is quite sustainable, uh, like a 24 seven, you know, but, uh, there are some, uh, shortcoming is that, uh, because you need the algorithm to run the model and to run this uh, algorithm, it needs time. So at the very beginning, it cannot, if you want to kickstart the market quickly, so it's not that good. Uh, I mean, it's not, um, it's a little bit worse compared with the manual ads. So what we do is, uh, since uh, we have both of them, so we try to combine all of them and take advantage of uh, both of their, um, take advantage of both this traffic and try to avoid the uh, weaknesses. And uh, yeah, uh, sorry, I forgot to men mention one very important thing. So uh, to have 100 million in stores, and uh, and to make it sustainable, very important thing is you need to have a programmatic network that runs, uh, you know, around the clock. So uh, as Movistar developed this M system, uh, anyway, it's like um, kind of uh, like uh, SSP stuff. Uh, it we integrate a, a lot of famous apps. Just to name a few, this is uh, only some uh, typical apps. Uh, the most important thing is not about the quantity of the apps; it's about what they have inside. So uh, the, our M system 
integrate uh, have 100 million SDK daily active users, which means that you can expose to 100 million users every day like this. So, so which can guarantee the growth and the sustainability of uh, our user acquisitions. So this is the logic, uh, algorithm logic, and uh, we uh, will analyze our the user profile, the geo profile time, and also the app features, do some machine learning, and uh, we have uh, developed three different models, which is quite standardized. And the interesting thing is uh, we integrate all these three different models and finally target the most potential and most highly valuable users. And the last thing is KPI control. Uh, I remember some people or a lot of advertisers say that, okay, let's uh, do CPA, CPL, whatever. And uh, actually, we also provide such service, but uh, we at, at the moment, we still recommend CPI because uh, first, you have the two traffic, a CPI traffic, you can, it's easily accessible. But uh, yeah, there are some shortcomings of CPI because um, of the, you know, fraud traffic, uh, you know, this, uh, sometimes uh, you want to find some non-insane traffic, but uh, it end up in some, uh, end up finally insane traffic, which uh, annoy everybody. So, uh, more is that develop, uh, our own, uh, develop our own advanced technology support system, uh, to filter this, uh, and to identify this fraud traffic. That's why we have 60% of R&D they are doing this uh, every day to opti optimize our system to make our CBI traffic as pure as possible. Uh, so if there is anything uh, I learn uh, or we learn, anyway, I hope uh, you can also learn uh, from uh, this session is that uh, all these are very basic. And the most important thing is uh, never overestimate or underestimate, overestimate or underestimate any, the effect of any single promoting solution when you try to target 100 million potential users. Uh, for sure, if you, uh, you know, if somehow your, your target is different, uh, or it's another story, we, I think we can also help you with that. So uh, our suggestion is to synergize all solutions in your portfolio. And uh, maybe there's also one more thing I want to talk about is uh, regarding the, um, uh, it's a comparison. Uh, like uh, a lot of people talk about like uh, only 1% of the app are opened by user, uh, like uh, every month or maybe 80% of the apps are going to be abandoned by the users. But that is not important. The statistics is not important. What is important is uh, whether you have a precise plan because we are doing very precise things. We are not doing lottery. So no matter the successful rate is success rate is one percent or ninety nine percent. If you if you have the good product, you can always kick um, you know break in the market and acquire a lot of users. What you need is just a matter of time. So maybe Moister can help you to shorten this time. <laughs> Uh, well, this is the branding time. This is our some of our corporate advertisers. Uh, most of them, I think, may also sit here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you know that you see the banner. So uh, one more thing. Uh, uh, in the capital capital market, we took a further step. Uh, by the end of last month, on November the twenty fifth, we uh when listed in NEQ, which stands for the National Equities Exchange and Quotations uh, in China stock market, and uh, which stands for, you know, innovation uh, for this uh, mobile internet. And we are the first, uh, actually, mobile advertising company uh, to be listed. And uh, the purpose is, for one thing, to get more money to fill our future growth, and for the other thing is to better serve our customers and publishers. And the last thing is, uh, I think we are going to uh, open office in Europe. So I hope uh, we can get in touch with each other very soon. Uh, we have a lot of colleagues uh, sitting around you. So uh, we have a booth outside. So if you want to talk to us, uh, maybe you have another like a 1 billion users acquisition plan, just uh, talk to us. We are here for your, at your disposal. Thank you. <laughs>